The legendary basketball coach John Wooden said a secret to his success is, quote, doing the little things well. That's why he spent the first day of practice teaching his players how to tie their shoes and fix their socks. It's a philosophy that helped him with win 10 national championships and also helped his friend Pat Williams beat cancer. Top motivational speaker and NBA executive Pat Williams has inspired thousands with his eternal optimism. He led 23 teams to the NBA playoffs and co-founded the Orlando Magic. He's written over 80 books and still finds time to help raise his 19 children. It seems nothing can dampen his spirits, even cancer. In his book, The Mission is Remission, Pat discusses the factors that helped him through his two-year battle. This guy is indefatigable. He runs marathons. He's written about 80 books. Uh, he founded the Orlando Magic, and he's led teams to, uh, what, about 23 uh, NBA finals. I mean, just a great, and he's here with us. Pat Williams, God bless you. Pat, I'm delighted to see you. It's always a treat to visit with you, and you inspire me. Well, you inspire me. You had a uh, virulent form of cancer that's life-threatening, but you're still alive and kicking. What happened? Thank you, Pat. I was diagnosed in January 11 through my yearly physical. And there's a little note, by the way, guys and ladies, don't neglect your yearly physical. Okay. Anyway, they spotted in there some in my blood work that wasn't right, Pat, and uh, it led to the news that I had a form of cancer called multiple myeloma. Okay. which is one of the blood cancers. I had never heard of it. Yeah. But uh, Dr. Reynolds, my oncologist, said to me, mm -hmm. you're going to do well with this. Yeah. And I didn't know quite what he meant. But then he explained a positive attitude and a strong faith and good physical fitness. He said all of those areas of your life are going to be very helpful. So I've written about all of this in this book called The Mission is Remission, Pat, trying to encourage people battling cancer uh, to really hang in there and uh, try and learn some of the lessons that I learned over the last four years. All right, mission, remission, what did you learn? Give me four or five points of what you learned. There well, were keys. I, I think that one of the keys, Pat, is uh, stay optimistic, yeah. stay positive, uh, don't quit. Number two, take care of yourself physically. Uh, keep working out, keep exercising. You know all about that, yeah, you're a yeah. fitness guy because you're going to go through some tough physical battles, stay close to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Boy, I learned that one. When the news hit, I sensed that I had a choice. Run from the Lord and shake my fist in his face or do a swan dive into his lap and hang on as tight as I could. And that's what I elected to do. And then I think the other thing, Pat, is uh, stay close and really tight with your family. Mm -hmm. You know, to f battle cancer alone, I, I, boy, that's a tough assignment. I just don't think you can do it. You had uh, intravenous chemo and oral chemo. Yes. Uh, that tears your body up. Uh, were you terribly weak or sickly, or did you have those problems? There were some periods, you know, when I probably was. But you know what I learned to do when you mm -hmm. feel like that? Go home and take a nap. Just like that. Just go to bed. Yeah. You do need more, more sleep and more rest as a result of this. But uh, the other thing that uh, the doctors really stressed was go live your life. Live your life normally. They said, we'll tuck the medical stuff around your life and your schedule. So I've tried to keep my speaking schedule up, my writing, you know, everything that I would, the, the ball club, the magic, everything that I would normally do, <laughs> how many I've really tried well, to do it. Was it 80 books you've written? 80, 80, 80, zero? Is that how many books? Well, Pat, the two that are out this spring, 87 and 88. <laughs> 87, okay. The mission is remission. And then the one about Coach Wooden, the ultra successful coach at UCLA. And... Uh, this is the third book I've written about Coach Wooden. He has so much wisdom. You know, he mm. had just a, a, a well pot of, of wisdom. Anyway, long story short, I asked him one night at dinner, uh, what was the closest thing to a secret of success yeah. that he could come up with? And you know what he said to me? A lot of little things done well. So that's, that's what he said to me. And, and so he made them learn how to put their socks on. Yeah, you know, he would teach his UCLA players the first day of practice how to put the socks on and get the wrinkles out and how to put them in the shoe properly and lace them up. Uh, I once asked Coach Wooden about that. He said, all I needed was one little wrinkle in one sock 
creating one little blister on the first day of practice, mm -hmm. you know, that would lead to a big blister. And I've got a star player out for a month. And then he said to me, as far as I know, he said, we never lost any floor time because of a blister, said Coach Wooden. So he was a stickler on the little things. And, Pat, that has really helped me in this cancer battle. Mm -hmm. One day at a time. I think that's really what I've learned. What One day at a time. Having... Live it fully and, and don't worry too much about what comes well, next what you, week. What are you doing? You, you started the Magic. Are you still working with the Magic? Yes. We've been there 28 years now. This is our 25th anniversary season, our silver anniversary yeah. season. And uh, we've got a beautiful new arena. And uh, we're building a, a nice young ball club. We got a long way to go yet to cut, get back to being a contender, but we're getting there. Well, what happened? The Miami Heat seems to have taken the the the, the, the uh, luster in Florida away from the Magic. What, what happened? Well, they ended up with a fellow by the name of LeBron James. <laughs> well, I've heard about that gentleman. <laughs> who, who may be who may be one of the five greatest players of all time. Yeah. Uh, and still kind of getting into the peak of his career. So they were very fortunate to lure him there some years ago and he's put he's made them just a super contender well, but you, you uh, had Shaq O'Neal that's you? right yeah. we had Shaq for a period and Miami was subservient so <laughs> we, we, we we rock back and forth it's a good rivalry you come back well I I hope these books are success this mission it's just amazing but you know what the doctor said he said he said it nice but that's essentially a death sentence what he told you was a death sentence, but you didn't take it. Well, Pat, I asked him uh, the first day, I said, uh, what's the life expectancy with multiple myeloma? He said, typically two to three years. Mm. Uh, he said, but our job is to keep you alive long enough uh, for this new treatment, these new drugs, you know, yeah. to be applied to your life. And he was right, because now I'm on new medication and new drugs are coming along. So there's some wonderful work in cancer research and scientists are doing a terrific job, and I'm grateful for that. But there's still an lot, awful lot more you, you to be done. You still have energy. You still have drive. You have no, you, I feel good, Pat. I'm very grateful that uh, my energy level is good. I'm able to keep my full schedule. And uh, again, I, I found that to stay engaged in life, to anybody mm -hmm. who's battling cancer, don't quit. Don't sit on the sidelines. Don't sit at home feeling sorry for yourself. Arnold Palmer, who's been through cancer battles, Pat, mm -hmm. dropped me a little note in the middle of all this. He said, I learned two things. He said, number one, do everything your doctors tell you yeah. and stay optimistic and positive. Well, God bless you. I'm so glad you're here. Ladies and gentlemen, these books are available where books are sold or on Amazon, Coach Wooden's Greatest Secret, and The Mission is Remission. Pat Williams, a great man. We're glad he's here with us.